So the wigs that you have in the picture are not the same wigs that people are getting shipped. Yeah, they're the same. So, of course, they're not the same exact wig. They are basically wigs that we duplicate. So, Yo, YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? Trey back again to hit y'all another video. Hope y'all are having a very great day. Hope y'all are having a very great week also. My day is going absolutely marvelous. Big shout out to all our channel members, all subscribers, other Trey King Show family. Much love to each and every last one of you all. And you all, we have a story out of Florida. Yes, by way of Jacksonville. Big shout out to everybody in the great city of Jacksonville. Everybody in the great state of Florida. Now, I don't care what nobody said about Florida, how ratchet they say you all are. I don't care what my girl Lovely T say. And big shout out to my girl Lovely T also. Big shout out to you, sister. Now, one thing I will say about Florida, like everywhere else, you have good people and you have bad people there, like you do everywhere, even in my home state, Texas, yes. So I said that to say this is that you can't judge everybody by the actions of one person. But one thing I do not like, and I'm sure a lot of you all may agree in this day and age more than ever, where you have online purchases, where you have people buying stuff off the Internet, no matter if it's shoes or like myself. I tried to buy a Michael Jordan hat. Come to find out they sent me a fat ass Michael Jordan. No offense to anybody out there overweight or anything like that. But I could have sworn that I order a Jordan hat. So why in the hell when I go to the mailbox a few days later, I get a damn EJ hat, a EJ Johnson, Magic Johnson stuff, anybody don't know what the word EJ means. So I'm like, when the hell did Michael Jordan get weight and get a big ass booty? I don't understand that. They sent me the wrong damn hat. So I sent the hat back and about a week later, I got the real Jordan hat. But you got to be careful of the things that you buy off the internet. Now I have heard all kinds of stories. People have been sending me stuff on the Instagram. People have been sending me stuff in my emails. For like the last couple years, actually. Now, I will say this. Is that I heard about Rhonda White first last year. And her alleged scamming, if you will. Now, I know the alleged is kind of far-fetched. Because she basically admitted out her own mouth, as you all seen when the video started. That the wigs that she sent you all are basically not the wigs that she has on. It's what she called a duplicate. And one thing about it. It's called false advertising. Is that when you show somebody something and you trying to sell that to them, and you making the person think that this is what you're getting. It's like if somebody show you a Lexus uh, LS500, top of the line Lexus Big Body, and then upon you going to pick the car up, they have a little basic Lexus IS out there. You didn't order the IX, you ordered the big dog, the LS. So what the hell is wrong with people? It's called false advertising. But she admitted on a shade room that basically what she was doing is practicing misleading tactics basically lying if you will now people might say well it was an honest mistake but one thing about it though is that you can't make mistakes like this now you all may be wondering how in the hell do you know some of these scams basically you won't know until it's too late but there's things to look for most people with accredited sources will be accredited by the bill business bureau what you call triple b you know what i'm saying not triple d's like that so if they're not accredited Something may be up with them. But at the same time, if they are accredited, it's more power to them. It goes to show that they follow certain types of procedures. But you have some people who don't follow any type of procedures, basically playing off your ignorance. And then also, you must watch people who have these online sites where they sell you things, whether it's hair products, shoes, or whatever the hell else, where they only sell Cash App and uh, Zella and these other online things like PayPal, but PayPal will give you your money back, but Cash App and Zella would not give you your money back. You have a hard damn time trying to figure that out. So you have to be aware of one thing, that people are on top of these damn cunts and they know how to get your money. But, you know, the sad thing about all these stories to me, the ones I've been hearing about, there's a lot of them, I couldn't cover them all. But the one thing I found in common was this right here, is the fact that, you know, she was so nice, Wonder Right, or whoever was representing her, but it doesn't matter if she had people working for her, and they basically speaking on her behalf. It's still her, period. You know what I'm saying? Because they represent your business, your brand. So one thing I did notice about all these said transactions was that the people was able to get in touch with Rhonda at first. Basically, you know, like when they first make the purchase, you can correspond back and forth with no problem. Phone calls, text messages, email, whatever the hell else. If you drop a dime, she was right there up until the point well, it was almost time to deliver the product. And then she basically wouldn't respond to some people. Some people was hitting her up. She blocking comments. As you all can see, you can read those comments. Or better yet, you can go to yelpreview.com and uh, 
It shows everything right there. And also on Facebook, where it has a lot of people basically out of her. And also even on her Instagram. So she will be nice corresponding back and forth up until the time it said to deliver the said product. And then she would tell you that the product will be here at this day. And sometimes the product arrive weeks later, sometimes months later. And a few of them never even arrive. So that's basically what we call a misleading tactics. You're basically lying to the damn people. But, you know, you have to be careful of the people that you follow on social media, people that you admire and that you look up to. Because one thing about it, you know, everything is not always what it seems. So you have to be careful of who you're willing to spend your money with and also who you watch. But anyway, there's one particular case that stuck out to me because this person who goes by the name of Rachel L. from Kingsland, Texas, basically was trying to order a wig for Mother's Day. And this wig turned out to be $775. But anyway, this is what Rachel had to say. She said, I talked to her on the phone before ordering, and she assured me I would have the unit in time for Mother's Day. I even offered to pay extra to have it overnighted to me. But right after placing the order, she stopped answering my phone calls because guess what? The wig cannot be overnighted because those damn wigs have to come from where? China. The wigs have to come all the way from damn China on a big-ass ship or a damn plane. I doubt if they're putting a damn wig on a plane. The wig takes weeks to get here. So there's no way in hell that you're going to get these wigs overnighted. And also, have anybody ever ordered anything offline from Wonder White and got it overnight or expedited, if you will? If you did, please leave a link. If you also want to leave the picture of the wig, do that if you can. But at the same time, that's what I want to know. So the woman goes on, Miss Rachel says this. She said, but right after placing her in the order, the phone call stopped, just like with the other cases where once she got the people money, basically, she didn't even respond back to them because she already got the damn money. So Rachel goes on to say this right here. But right after placing the order, she stopped answering my phone calls. I've been calling, texting, emailing, and sending messages through all of her social media platforms, but she has not replied and keeps deleting my comments from her posts. You know why she keeps deleting the comments? That's because for other potential buyers want to go over there and spend some of them buckety bucks, they won't look through the reviews because a smart person is going to look through the reviews. It's just like for those people who shop off of Amazon, like myself. I shop off of Amazon. One thing I do go do, especially when I'm spending top dollar, I always go and check the reviews. If it's bad reviews or anything misleading, I am not going to purchase it. Guess what? I will spend my money elsewhere or just keep my damn money. But the woman said once she sent the payment, she basically stopped hearing from Rhonda. And then she goes on to say this right here. I had been following her for years, admiring her work, and also sorely disappointed. My kids paid for this for me as a gift, and now I have nothing. This is really sad. I requested a refund through Cash App, but guess what, though? They ain't going to refund it. And I contacted my local and her local police department. Hopefully someone can help. Yes, I urge all of you to file reports with your local police office departments. And then she goes on to say, the note reports would cause action to happen. If you all want to work together to stop her, please email Rachel at SaveByGrace at Yahoo.com. But at the same time, there's just one illustration right there. It's countless illustrations out here. Now, I'm not one to throw people up under the bus, but one thing I do not like is a liar and people that scams. Now, I know also that the Shade Room, they have all kinds of story. Hell, I was even on a Shade Room about four years ago and stuff, for those who remember that episode. I mean, it wasn't nothing major. It had nothing to do with no damn scamming. Basically, do with somebody lying on your boy. You feel me? But one thing about it, you have to take your business serious. You cannot sit up here and show people products and then say once you put on the hot seat with the Shade Room consultant named Justin. I'm surprised you even answered that question when he basically said, so... The product that you're showing in the pictures are those the same products that you're giving the customers. Then Rhonda goes on to say this right here as you all witnessed firsthand from her mouth, not my mouth. She says this, uh, yes, of course. Then she said, uh, no, there are duplicates. So if there are duplicates, what you should do is put that on the picture and say, this is not the product that you will be getting. This may be similar to the product that you may be getting, but also from the wigs that I've seen, she should write, that this hair that you all see, this product would not look nothing like the shit I have on my damn head. But the point is this right here. Now, this is my own opinion. Before I close this video, I will say this. Is that to me, a woman with her natural hair is the most beautiful thing. You see what I'm saying? It's nothing like a woman with her natural hair. Now, true. I know some of y'all out there struggling. Some of y'all out there got just a little bit of hair. 
Some of you out there are chicken head. Some of you out there are bald head. Some of you out there got long hair and want to cut it. But at the same time, do what you want to do. But in my honest opinion, I like natural hair. But at the same time, when you're spending your money, you should be getting what exactly that you're paying for. If somebody's showing you a said product, you should receive that product. You cannot get a damn duplicate because if that's the case, you have to what? You have to say that. You have to post that. It's called being honest. So when you sit up here and showing people different hairstyles and hair products that you have, but then you turn around and send them something different, and then you got the nerve to say that it's a duplicate, that's called false practice. That is misleading. Basically, false advertising. And basically, if it's all true, like it shows to be, you're wrong. But anyway, you all let me know what you think about this. And from what I heard, all those wigs come from damn China, come from wigs.com, or all the spreads. You all go right there to Walmart or to your local Korean Asian shop right in the hood and get them damn same wigs for $25, $30 and save you about six, dollars $700. Anyway, you all let me know what you think about this story. If there's anything you want to add, please do so. But one thing I want to say this is that you must keep it real because if you don't keep it real sooner or later, your shit will catch up with you. But anyway, you all let me know what you think about this in the comment section. If you like the video, push that like button. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel. Become a channel member. Also, share this video with your family and friends. Until next time, you all stay blessed. And I will see you all soon on the next Trey King Show. And guess what? I'm out.